So this question is often asked of me, uh, how do you prepare for quants for CAT in 180 days? And the context of 180 days, why I'm making this video for you guys, is the fact that CAT in November 2022 is approximately 180 days of preparation away. The exam is of course a little bit more than 200 days away, uh, if, if you consider the fact that you've got May, June, Ju July, August, September, October, uh, six months clean and then another 20 days out there. And, few days in April. So the exam is actually around maybe 200, 210 days away. But but if you look at the clean preparation time, you've got, you've got around 180 days. So that's the context in which I'm, I'm building this video for you guys. And uh, I want to uh, give you the four or five most important aspects of taking care of your preparation when you're talking about quants prep. Right now, please understand that uh, one of the fundamental objectives of uh, your quants prep strategy will be that you have to cover the portion, right? And I'm assuming uh, when I'm doing this video, I'm assuming that uh, I'm talking to a group of people who are just starting preparation. But if you have already started preparation, then I would uh, uh, I would guess you you would already be into some part, or you your teeth would already be uh, through some part of what I'm talking about here. And hence, you can actually modify your uh, your timelines accordingly based on where you are in your preparation. But the timelines I'm giving is for somebody who's just starting afresh in this video. So, uh, who's starting afresh in the end of April for uh, CAT 2022 uh, exam. So, when you talk about quants, uh, the first priority, of course, in quants is to quickly get through your, uh, your preparation cycle. And it's basically 20 chapters divided across the six blocks. I guess you, you know the blocks from my books. And for your reference, these are the, uh, the blocks and the chapters. Twenty chapters. So the thumb rule, general thumb rule, should be and and your first round of prep. I mean, when you talk about quants, you have to remember that if you're trying to compete against the top guys in quants, agar 80 percentile chahiye quants mein, tab to jada issue nahi hai. But if you want uh, 95, 97, 98, 99 percentile plus, and you are not close to that to start with, uh, maybe one round of preparation quants will not be sufficient. So you have to plan. Uh, one straight thing that you, you have to make a 100 day plan first. Ki okay, and it will be required to push yourself, but uh, the fact that you've started a little bit later than what other people have done, you need to push yourself, you need to uh, push yourself to make sure that you come back on track. So the target I would give is 20 chapters. Sita Sita, the, the target is 20 into 5, 5 days per chapter. You spend 5 days in, in round 1 of a chapter and you push yourself to finish the chapter in five days. Some chapters will take a little bit more, like number system will take a little bit more, geometry will take a little bit more. It's not possible to finish geometry in five days, no matter how quickly you're doing it. Uh, maybe specifically if you're doing it for the first time after a long time, maybe chapters like time, speed, distance, functions, these four, five chapters might take a little bit more, but you can still maintain an average of five because there are other chapters like profit and loss or, or time and work or uh, even chapters like allegations or coordinate geometry that really don't require five days. They might be on average two or three days uh, uh, max that, that you need to spend on them in your first round. So your first target has to be the 100 day target. I have to finish uh, what I'm trying to do here. I'm finished trying to finish my first round of uh, quants preparation in a 100 day framework. And that leaves you around 80 days for your box. And if you have seen my 180 day video, uh, 180 day how to prepare for CAT uh, in 180 days video where I've talked about the generic part, I've mentioned there that uh, you need at least 120 days of, of testing. Maybe if you want to crash it a little bit down, testing you can do it in 100 days max, but don't try to bring it down below 100 days. So that means if you are in a 180 day framework of preparation, by the 80th day or ideally by the 60th day of your preparation, you should start your your tests, your sectional tests of quants and your mock tests, your full length mock tests both. So when you start your sectional tests on quants, uh, your, uh, uh, your your target, uh, I mean, if, if you are doing it at the 60th day, let's say you decide that I want to start my sectional tests and my full length tests around the 60th or 70th day of my preparation, then it means that you would have completed 12 to 14 chapters of quants by that time, maybe the arithmetic part, uh, that's uh, block two, three, and then uh, uh, the number systems part, which is block one, by, by 60 to 70 days, it's possible to finish those. 
and uh, so when you enter the mocks you are not completely uh, lost in the quant section you you there are few chapters which you don't know which you have not studied but you you can calculate that based on your mock scores you know that I, once i complete this and you you have a fair estimate of ki okay when when i complete this mera score kahan tak pahunch jayega uske baad aur jo gap abhi aa raha hai wo dikhna start ho jata hai so that's that's the second part i mean the, you 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 start your testing the second advice is you start your testing around 60 to 80 days of your pro- or around day 60 to day 80 of your preparation and uh, parallelly you start you can keep completing your block 2 3 uh, 1 block 1 block 4 block 5 block 5 block 4 block 6 the order should be that block 2 3 block 1 block 5 block 4 and block 6 that should be the order in which you complete things because block 5 uh, we need to do a little bit before block 4 because that's after block 2 3 that's the biggest uh, area and you can't do block 5 before you do number systems ideally because you there are some concepts of numbers that keep getting used in functions and equations etc so so 2 3 1 5 is the ideal order in which you you do your blocks uh, followed by 4 which is geometry mensuration but as you start uh, uh, taking your tests you will start understanding this now this is the third major part of your preparation strategy and plan as you start taking your tests you will start understanding that there are few chapters in which you are still not able to solve and it's not this natural ऐसा नहीं हो सकता है कि तुम एक बार मैथ पढ़ लो और एक बार एक चैप्टर पढ़ लो और तुम हंड्रेड परसेंट टाइलर के साथ के साथ खड़े हो जाओगे और नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट टाइलर के साथ कम्पीट करने लगोगे ऐसे चैप्टर में जिसको तुम पहले बार पढ़े हो बहुत दिन बाद एंड वन मोर थिंग बिफोर आई मूव ऑन इज वेन यू स्टार्ट डूइंग द फर्स्ट राउंड वेन से फाइव डेज ऑन द फर्स्ट राउंड वॉट यू डू सो वेन यू स्पेंडिंग फाइव डेज ऑन अ टॉपिक इन द फर्स्ट राउंड you are focused on doing three things in that topic one is you are doing some theory on the topic so you just going through the theory once uh, some basic theory and and the theory study is not very deep in in quants uh, for for cat it's maybe one to two days on any chapter any topic you take it does not take you more than two days to do to the theory uh, the theory part of it and then you do a little bit of assisted problem solving which means you are either reading questions and solutions or you are you are watching questions with videos people who are studying with us at mindworks we give them a lot of assistance on on the assisted problem solving part uh, on every chapter and uh, typically the target should be that you do somewhere around 25 to 50 questions of assisted problem solving and you try to learn from them ki how do the teachers or how do uh, people who are who think uh, who who can think strongly in quants how do they think in the same questions that you are struggling with so you do it for around 25 to 50 questions assisted problem solving and then you move into a phase which i call as self problem solving and in self problem solving the whole focus has to be doing questions on your own so when you pick up a self problem solving question bank suppose you are using my book for self problem solving so when you pick up the self problem solving question bank you have to make sure that that question bank you do yourself it cannot be every third question you are going to somebody and asking how to solve so to to thumb i mean and 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 obviously uh, when you if you if you have picked up points after a long time you will not be able to solve all the questions especially lod2 and lod3 may you will struggle to do things so the 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 flip side now happens ki how do we manage both these things i have to finish a chapter in 5 days and i'm going into a question i sit for 3 hours and i'm able to solve only 10 12 15 questions and i have to do 200 questions in 3 days it does not does not happen so the the key advice here is that when you start going through a self problem solving there'll be questions you can solve easily there'll be questions you'll solve after a struggle there'll be questions which you will not be able to end up solving after even after a struggle and there'll be questions which you have no idea about so what i typically tell you is that keep a upper limit of of 10 minutes on a question the 10 minutes mein agar question nahi ho raha hai tumse first round mein self problem solving ke to you come back and solve it again later in 10 minutes in a 10 minute time frame if you are not able to solve the question you you leave the question in your first round you just mark the question ki this is one one thing i can get through and uh, try try it for 10 minutes or normally questions if you acute questions are normally two or three or four steps long even my lod2 lod3 is not too long in that context so agar kuch hona hai to 10 minute mein ho jayega so you just leave the question and you keep moving ahead so so upper limit of of 200 questions every question will not take you 10 minutes so average if you if you bring out around 5 minutes per question on average uh, and you doing 200 questions lod1 and lod2 included you will take around 1000 minutes uh, to complete those 200 questions on average maybe you would have a 50 50 solving rate that you solve 500 not solve uh, solve 100 not solve 100 so maybe something like that and and uh, the idea is that when you come back to the chapter in round 
once you have completed your round one in 100 days or maybe uh, around the 68 days once you have completed your first 10 12 chapters as you start doing the next chapters you also start inculcating or creating some study sessions for reviewing and revising these chapters so that they become solidified so <clears throat> so day 60 to day 100 might look like two things in quants uh, one is you are doing a few cha new chapters so maybe you have you have increased your time timeline to 7 days per chapter instead of 5 so rather than covering all 8 chapters in the next 40 days you are saying ki, okay I'll cover only 5 chapters in the next 40 days but more importantly I'll review and revise all these 12 chapters that I've done and when you come back to the second round of the chapter you'll see automatically you'll have so you'll be able to solve a lot of the questions which you had not solved in the first round so this is very important this step is very important because uh, when you solve a question on your own uh, it gives you a deeper impact in your in, the, in your neural network you remember what to do better you react better the next time you see the question rather than asking someone and asking someone if you keep asking questions every third question you'll never build the confidence that you need inside the exam the exam the CAD exam is not just about or in fact any exam any aptitude exam is not just about solving uh, uh, or knowing how to solve it is also about the confidence and the belief that you have और बहुत बार मैं तुमको बता सकता हूँ अपने एक्सपीरियंस से बहुत बार बिलीफ हिल जाता है एग्जाम के अंदर मेरा भी हिल ऐसा सिचुएशन आया जब मेरा बिलीफ हिल गया कि मैं इसको कर पाऊँगा कि नहीं स्पेशली डी में तो और होता है एंड आई डू अ सेपरेट वीडियो फॉर डी आई कीप वॉचिंग द चैनल कीप लाइकिंग आर वीडियोज़ कीप सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड कीप शेयरिंग द चैनल सो कमिंग बैक सो यू मे बी योर योर बाय द हंड्रेड डे uh you you have extended your uh, your finishing to maybe 20 days more finishing of portion to 20 days more it does not matter because if you have started your test around day 60 to day 80 your testing cycle has started at the same time your preparation has continued and not just continued you have done two rounds of uh, the first 10 12 chapters so you you got a deeper depth in that you got much better understanding of those questions and those will start working inside the exam for you right so this is uh, what you will do uh uh, this is what you will, you will do and of course uh, once you once you finish your portion once your uh, 100 day 120th day pe tumhara jab portion khatam hota hai uske baad the next 60 days will be quite free in terms of because you will not have any new portion to do pehle 120 days mein ya pehle 100 days mein kya tha ki every day there was a new chapter to be done but after 100 days after 120 days that pressure is gone so you only have review review objectives and you got 60 clean days in which you are reviewing all these topics maybe you already reviewed the first 10 12 chapters so you're putting them into a third review a third round and for the remaining 7 8 chapters you're initiating the second round during days 120 to 150 160 so that is the timeline and that's how you should uh, plan your quants uh, this thing and and ideally every chapter should be taken through three rounds in this time and you have enough time because you know if your first rounds of a chapter has been 5 days the second round mein tumko theory karna nahi hai थोड़ा असिस्टेड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग हो सकता है करना हो एंड यू ओनली हैव टू लुक एट द क्वेश्चन विच यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व एंड मे बी इफ यू थिंक दैट यू नीड मोर डेप्थ इन दैट चैप्टर यू पिक अप न्यू क्वेश्चन बट अदरवाइज द बेसिक प्रिपरेशन इज जस्ट पिकिंग अप मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दैट टॉपिक और पिकिंग अप दोज क्वेश्चन विच यू कुड नॉट डू जन जनरल थम रूल है कि एंड यू कैन यू कैन चेक दिस फॉर लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ द कैट पेपर कि इफ समबडी इज एबल टू सॉल्व एल ओ डी वन एल ओ डी टू काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन बैंक्स तो एग्जाम में ही और शी विल हैव इनफ टीथ इन द क्वेश्चन मे बी सम क्वेश्चन विल will be a uh, question which you don't remember or which you have not seen but 70 80% of the questions will be within what you have seen if you have completed already one to yourself so so what i'm trying to say is that if you have completed 200 questions on a topic like time speed distance 300 questions on a topic like time speed distance 200 questions on a topic like averages you can check your last 20 years cat paper you'll see that most of the questions you will be able to handle on your own so you'll not have a you'll not have a difficulty and that belief is very important in your in your preparation so so the last 60 days jo jo karte ho to your focus i mean from day 120 to 180 the focus is just reviewing and revising round 2s round 3s round 4s so individual rounds might round round 4 by round 4 it might be that you are visiting the chapter just for 6 hours 5 hours so you said at 10 o'clock in the morning and the chapter is over by 3 o'clock in the afternoon that's how your round 3s and round 4s will happen right so so coming back to uh, this thing and what has to happen is once you have tried a question 3 times and the second thumb rule is that once you have solved 9 out of 10 questions, 180 or 200 questions, then the remaining 20 which you solve not solved, you help in the last one. So you, you at least learn what is there rather than just going into the exam without knowing them. So that's the strategy, that's the plan, that's what uh, Quants is going to be all about. 
and i wish all you all all the best please do follow the channel please do like the videos share the videos and do subscribe and do press the bell icon so that uh, you get notifications of whenever we uh, bring in new content for you and do uh, comment on on the videos uh, it helps us uh, understand what you want and it also helps us uh, i might not, also helps us uh, formulate better content for the channel and uh, um i might not be able to answer you all the all the comments on the on the channel but i do read each one of them so please remember that right so with, with that this is arun sharma signing off i'll see you soon bye bye